Hello guys, we continue exploring Laravel Pulse source code and this is a follow-up video what we did about migrations. A few days ago, and I will link that video in the description below, we discussed quite unusual database structure without ID primary keys, with text values and with a lot of indexing. Now in this video, let's see the queries. And this is the general thing, how to structure the database people often ask me, and I have a separate course about that. But it usually depends on what would be the queries in the future. Based on that, you define the structure between the tables, you define field types, relationships, indexes, and other stuff. So let's explore some of the solutions in the database structure of Pulse based on this class. Interestingly enough, they created a separate class called database storage, with the idea that in the future there may be another storage for data, for entries, not necessarily the database. So this is a bit complex, but you can simplify that to just eloquent queries. So for example, trim method, trimming the values from the database. This connection, you can transform that in your mind to query builder like db, db table. db table where timestamp is older than a week, for example, delete older entries. Similarly, pulse entries and pulse values. So this is how that class database storage uses database queries in general. This connection table and then some operations with the database and collections. And this is the reason why timestamp field in migrations has index here. And this is specifically saying for trimming. So if you have operations on where condition on specific fields, it's worth having an index for this query to be faster. Then another example has both database operations and collections. So from Pulse Aggregate, we get distinct records, then we get only period field of that, and then for each of the periods, we have another query of the same period and bucket condition, I'm not sure what that means, deleting the records. Then another method, purge old entries, basically deleting everything and starting from scratch. And here we have three tables from Laravel Pulse, where type delete. And these queries are the reason why field type has an index for fast lookups and purging in pulse values, in pulse entries, and in pulse aggregates. In all three tables, there's an index here. Another method I wanted to show you in this short video, I will just mention a few methods. You can analyze all the class and I will link that in the description below. But for now, values. The query itself is pretty simple. From table pulse values, where type, again indexed. If we have the keys, then we filter by keys. Otherwise, we just get the records and key them by key. And then how it is used in Livewire component, for example, servers, there's this, pulse values system. So we get system values in a collection, and then we have collection operation mapping. And what we need to work with is actually system value, which is a JSON field. In the database, in the migration, the field is text but the format of that text is actually JSON. So we're decoding that JSON and then we're getting individual values and putting them into a final object. So this is an example how you can use JSON values. In general, I have mixed emotions about JSON columns in the database. It depends on scenario, but in this case, there is no filtering by JSON, which may be slow. There's no where JSON column something. It's just getting all the values and then processing them in the collection methods in PHP and in Laravel. So for such scenarios, I think JSON is a pretty good solution. And then there are more interesting, deeper methods in that database storage class. For example, graph is a great example to study if you want to get your head around collections, for example. So there's padding, which uses collection range map with keys, which basically builds 60 seconds collection. Then there's a structure, another collection method uses that padding. And then there's a database query. So selecting something, where conditions, grouping by, and then there's map collection 
with merging of the structure map with keys so quite a complex query so this would be a great example if you take that debug that and understand the data in each phase of the operation have a separate course about that collection operations 15 examples of chains of collections and in laravel in general in laravel core team projects i see that quite a lot so queries with collections and with a lot of data transformation so if you want to learn that laravel pulse with database storage is a great example there is another function called aggregate which also has select from sub so sub selects quite a complex data transformation aggregation i see union here grouping so i will leave that for you to study and i will link the full class in the description below that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos